I've never been in something that I felt so affected by after watching it. I just couldn't, I couldn't even communicate. I had to do a bit of a meditation this morning to yep. feel happiness. You're gonna love it. So we're here with Ari Asta and I have a question. What made you want to do Midsummer after the success of Hereditary? The impetus for writing the script was, you know, uh, that I had just gone through, a, you know, a bad breakup. It's it's a breakup movie. Years. Do you think it's like reinvention of the horror genre? I don't think it's actually, it's not a film that you can just categorize. I haven't seen anything that has made me feel the way this movie leaves you feeling when you walk out. All had really bad nightmares. I woke up depressed. Hi. How different is that feeling from leaving the cinema, you digesting it, to the first time you read this script? I read it and was like, it's f <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it is. To me, reading it was just as exciting as, as watching. It was. It's. It's so huge, even on the page. Your mouth is open, and when something else happens, you're like, "Oh my God, it's that kind of film!" And then it just completely changes again by the next page. You can't speak. You can't move. Scary though, like how scared am I going to be, Ari? It's macabre. I wouldn't call it scary because I don't really know what scary is. It's it's disturbing. You are just attacked for about two hours. Yeah. I've never done anything like that before in my career, and I doubt I'll ever do anything like that again. We all really had to endeavour to like look after our mental health while we were working on it. You know, like for me particularly, I know like I was like. During the week, I'm not doing any drinking. I'm reading books, you know, just to try and keep in a headspace where I wasn't going to get by what we were making. Is it scary? I keep hearing those words in the reviews, disturbing, disturbing, disturbing. So do you think that's like an accurate portrayal of what's going to happen? I'm, I'm sure it will be disturbing for many people. And then I'm sure many people will, like, you know, reach out to me and tell me that that movie sucked and that wasn't scary at all. It was tough. It was mentally, emotionally, physically exhausting and draining every day. Yeah. So it's actually no surprise when watching it that we came out the way that we did yesterday. Like, yeah. no surprise. I don't know why. It was like PTSD. So was there any particular part of the movie that you found like really difficult to watch or experience again? You know, there's one particularly difficult scene for me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few particularly difficult scenes the for me. The best really, thing is that everybody's going to be like, hmm, I wonder what scene yeah, that, wonder is. What that is. And then when they watch then it, they're going to be know. like, is it this scene? Is it this scene? And oh. then they'll get to it and be like, oh, that's the scene. <laughs> so, is there any advice for mentally preparing to no. watch this film? No. Oh Just my sit back. <laughs> We're all screwed. All right, interview's over. <laughs> sit back, let it happen. I was most excited for you to come. This film was the first film where I actually worried and thought about my character and like what what was going to happen to her and how someone like that gets through any of the stuff that she goes through and I've never ever ever thought back to a character but I've never worried about them and this film I'm, I'm like anxious yeah. right now even thinking yeah. about it I hope you both get to work on comedies next <laughs> yeah or like something light to I'm drop I'm just gonna give up yeah <laughs> I don't, this might be your last film is yeah. this it probably yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you're retired I don't, I don't think we can recover.